Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich, and in this little tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Google Talk to post tweets, is what they call them, on the Twitter.com website. If you didn't know what Twitter is, uh, you can think of it as a little bulletin poster. It's meant for small messages of 140 characters or less. You can have people receive your bulletins via their cell phone or via instant messenger. It's pretty neat. I use it. You might like it too, so you can check it out at Twitter.com. It's free for use. Now, in order to use it, uh, first of all, you need a Twitter account, so you have to sign up for one, which I've already done. And uh, then to configure it for the Google Talk client, we need a Google account, and we need Google Talk. So I'll show you how that goes. I'm going to open up a little window here, and I'm going to go to Google.com. And then on the right side, there's a link that says Sign In. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And then if you don't have a Google account, you can click Create an Account Now. By the way, if you already have a Gmail account, you don't need to do this. It's only if you don't have Gmail or don't have a Google account at all, you can just do create an account. And then once you're all set up with that, we go and get the Google Talk client, which is at google.com slash talk. And then there's a big blue button that says download Google Talk, and you go ahead and download that. It's an instant messenger, just like any other instant messenger you've seen, and uh, it gives you Gmail updates, and you can chat with other people that are Gmail users, and Jabber users, by the way, too. So... That's the way that works. Now, to configure it for Twitter, I'll go back to Twitter for a second. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And then I'm going to hit the link that says Settings at the top right. And then there's a link that says Phone and IM. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then what we can do is we can either configure Twitter updates by use of mobile phone or by instant messenger. You can use both, by the way, but I'm going to use instant messenger in this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my Gmail email address for Gtalk. You can use Gtalk, LiveJournal, or Jabber, by the way, but we're using Google Talk in this tutorial, so that's what I'm going to use, and click Save. And then what it's going to do is give me a little code in green. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my Google Talk client in here because I already have it running and I'm logged in with my Gmail account and I'm going to click the add button at the bottom left and then I'm going to add the user Twitter at twitter.com, the entire email address and click next. And then it says your friends have been invited. I'll click finish. Now Twitter is already in here, but it doesn't mean I can use it yet because I have to send this little code over to the Twitter account. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this bring my messenger back in the foreground here double click I'll open this up and then I will paste the little code and press enter Twitter will respond with your device has been verified and is on send off at any time to silence send help for more so if I type the word help and press enter it will give me instructions on how to use the Twitter system at this point what I do is if I put any update into this as an instant message it will automatically appear on my uh, Twitter page which is actually pretty cool. I'll show you something that I did a, a little bit ago. On my Twitter page it actually shows uh, I had posted a new blog on my blog so I posted this to my Twitter account and then it automatically puts the link and Twitter is meant for just really quick short updates I think it's pretty cool and now what I can do is with the Google Talk client I can just open up this at any time and send a message and it will automatically post to my Twitter account near instantaneously and that's pretty cool and that's essentially how to do it. Take it easy.